uh, this is one for Jim. I just wanted to know how it was working with your wife, obviously, on this uh, movie. Well, I saw less of her than I do at home. <laughs> I mean, uh, we went into work for three days together. On one day, she was across a field full of horses. And then for two days, she was on the other side of a, of a dining table. I refused to serve her wine <laughs> in case she got ex overexcited and expected that kind of behaviour at home. <laughs> Terrible uh, precedent. <laughs> but I do remember the day uh, she was offered the job. I was uh, sitting at home and she came and said, oh, I've just been offered a film. And I said, oh, yeah, anything nice? And she said, yeah, Downton Abbey. <laughs> and I thought... Well, I've read the script. What can she play? I mean, Mrs. Patmore doesn't have an assistant. And then I found she was playing somebody posh. So, uh... <laughs> but you're down, you know, she's upstairs and you're downstairs. I know, I know, which is completely wrong. Uh, <laughs> but it, no, it, so the three days we went in together was a treat, and it does mean that we're all doing this together. Have you seen her today? Yes, we have. You're yeah. good. Was she well behaved? Oh, you know, she had a few things to say about you, but uh, we won't discuss that just now. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> no, it was a treat. It was a treat. It was a treat. <laughs> Thank you. Question second row there, if you wouldn't mind passing oh, it down. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I've got a couple of cheeky questions for you. <laughs> we met at the Paddington um, um, Junket a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, first question is... Um, well, referring to both films um, that you've done in recent times, um, do you prefer playing the Earl of Grantham or Mr. Brown? The second question, and I'll, then I'll stop, um, is um, Anna Leach uh, suggested earlier that uh, um, your sexy calves, if I quote it right, um, where is the funny moment, where, you know, the funny moment for this shoot? So what do you take away from this? <laughs> <laughs> Sexy um, well. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> in terms of in terms of the, uh, well, it's the same performance, just different costumes. So, uh, you know, the, uh, the the dad trying to make his way with a with a wayward family. Um, one involves a furry bear. Um, the other involves Michelle Dockery. So um, uh, I, 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 I appreciate both, uh, both the uh, projects equally. In terms of my calves, they are magnificent. Alan is completely right. Uh, and because I get to show them in the film, I think there'll be, um, I think they, you know, they, they could be a, a feature of uh, fan memorabilia for, for years to come. And in terms of, sorry, it's also part of this question. Oh, the on. costumes, um, how is it? you know, wearing a lot of women's clothes in Paddington and uh, um, the, the fashion that you um, wear in Downton Abbey, the period mm. fashion, which, which one do you prefer? Well, I did try and get the women's clothes into Downton Abbey as well, but uh, <laughs> Julian was a little reluctant and that scene finally hit the cutting room floor. But uh, um, I, I think the, 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 well, the fashion, particularly for the, for the women in Downton Abbey, is, is wonderful and I think it's, it's writ large and I think Anna has really raised her game for the movie, um, the way that the, uh, the, the girls' clothes are fantastic in, 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 the, in, in the movie of Downton Abbey, and I'm very envious. I'd like to have worn a lot of those frocks. <laughs> it Thank really you. answered my questions. Thank you okay. so much. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, everybody. You Hello. guys are coming back after quite a break, back to the same role. How did it feel, and what was different this time for you? That, who's that for? You. Every everybody. For everybody, yeah. but maybe you can start, Elizabeth. That would be great. Crack, crack, Owen. Um, in no, some way... No, Elizabeth. Elizabeth <laughs> you, you, looked at, you looked at me as if... As if no, I think yeah. if I had to say anything, I would say that it, would, it felt remarkably the same mm -hmm. to come back. It was, it was remarkable how everybody slipped into their old roles very seamlessly. So now, Jim, you... Yeah, no, I, I, I would... It's like going back to school, you know. Oh, hey, is everybody? Oh, it's the same, um, but not, but in a nice way. I mean, you, uh, because it was so familiar, because we'd done it for six years, and for me in particular, because I, I like you, didn't get to wear women's clothes. I put on the same costume as I'd worn for six years, and it it, it felt like putting Carson back on with the costume. Uh, that was uh, increased that feeling because a lot of the crew were the same. The, the makeup designer, the costume designer, several members of the crew were the same. So it felt very comfortable, familiar, and very, very nice. I agree with all of that. Yeah. I, I was super excited to know that we were all going to 
get back together again. I mean, like you say about school, it was like, you know, when you have these school reunions, well, I'm saying that, I've never been to one in my life, but uh, <laughs> school reunions, but this just came a bit earlier. It was only three years since we'd left school, but we, we got back together again. So, yes, very exciting. Anyone else care to comment? You? Getting back together? Same, same. All good, same, same. <laughs> Jolly good. <laughs> Question at the front here. Yes, thank you very much. Don't ask a question, sing a song. So, hello and thank you for the amazing movie. Uh, I would like to ask that uh, it's and it's a question for all of you. Uh, what do you like most about the uh, 20s, the downtown Abbey era? And if you could transport something from this era to nowadays, I don't know, manners or outfit or butlers maybe, <laughs> what it would be? Corsets. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe a certain type of course, but, but that's a bit risky. Now, um, I don't know, Henry, else get any suggestions? As to mm, I don't know, because we show the, the, the 20s in a romantic light, you know. Uh, I, I don't, I think life would have been hard in the 20s. I think it would be hard for the servants. Uh, no, very little security. Thank Hugh is the most benign employer <laughs> in the world. It, it's very hard to get sacked from Downton Abbey. <laughs> 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 um, so we're thankful for that. But there was no safety net really for people. Uh, I think possibly one would... Uh, I'm a harp on about... I'm, I'm a fan of good manners. I think good manners are... Uh, don't cost anything, if I can slip in gently into cliché there. Um, uh, I would import that, but not a lot else, I don't, I, I don't think, really. Possibly the cars. <laughs> I think Downton Abbey represents a return to a glorious past for people. I think that's part of what appeals to them. But I always like to reiterate, there is no such thing as that glorious past. This is a piece of entertainment, and I'm feel very proud to be a part of it, but it isn't a documentary about living in the 20s. I, I personally would never want to go back there. I, I, I think women have come so far. I mean, I know it was a time where women were starting to discover a, a little bit of freedom, but they came from such a place of um, relative incarceration compared to where we are now. I mean, um, I, you know, playing Cora, who's a woman who has really no rights over her own destiny whatsoever, um, I'm always so pleased to be, uh, at the end of the day, going back to my life where we are now. Um, there's not one part of me that has any kind of sentimental attachment to, to that era as a woman. Interesting. I like the kettles. <laughs> I'd ha yeah, I like those big kettles on those ranges. That's about it from that era. Thank you very much. <laughs> in terms of the movie, of the scale of the movie, did it feel quite different in, in, on the sets? Because I understand some of the sets were slightly bigger. Uh, I, th I think the, 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 I mean, the actual physical sets were, were the same, but I think the sense of scale in, in, in terms of uh, both, the, both the costume and the overall design, the set pieces were, were slightly bigger. Um, so you know, when we had a parade, instead of having thirty people running around around the camera, it, we had uh, you know three hundred or whatever it might be. But the but you do get a, a sense of the, um, the, the 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 bigger vision on a, on a, on a bigger screen and um, and a story that um, while being light in light uh, light enough in tone, um, also has slightly higher stakes for the family. That uh, for once we're not the top of the tree. There's another branch above us. We had um, we had slightly bigger sets. Oh, do you want bigger down, yeah, bigger they, they, they sort of added on a few inches here and there, didn't they? they yeah, yeah, yeah. And, also, the castles. and also we got a brand new location. Well, oh, the, the, the wine, wine cellar. cellar. Oh. We got a wine I've been cellar. asking for a wine cellar for six years. Oh. <laughs> it had to be a movie. Yeah, yeah no, and eventually have we have one, and it's just a plot revolution. I, I, I disapprove. <laughs> <laughs> so was the kitchen set, was, was the kitchen a bit bigger? They, they, they did make it. The yeah. kitchen, I think, was about the same, but I think my office had expanded slightly just and to the, let the cameras in. Yeah, yeah no, okay. I, think, I think that was the same as the kitchen and the, the servants' but hall. But only that But, but, but yeah. not by that much. Yeah. 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 But I'm here to say that if you were expecting craft service as an actor because of the fact that it had become a movie you were sorely disappointed <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't any 
There were on the two days that the, oh, right. the, the executives, Sorry. the American executives came. There happened to be cross Suddenly. services yeah. on those days. But I think the the TV series was sort of cinematic in that the, you you had big set pieces with balls and castles and stately homes and countryside. And country so it fates wasn't it wasn't a that. big stretch of the imagination mm. just to ease it out a little bit more for the film. And we were blessed with a. I think one of the best cameramen in the business, Ben Smithard, the director of photography, he was not only so sympathetic to actors, but knows how to shoot sort of cinema. Uh, I think that, that was a blessing. So it, it just expanded. It's harder for, say, as a sitcom that's filmed in a studio uh, for the television to expand to the films, but it, it wasn't a big stretch for Downton to ex just sort of expand in, into a film, I don't think. Mm. Question in the front I've stunned Thank everybody you. with that. They're stunned into being comprehensive. This is so interesting. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, wake up. <laughs> Go on. Uh, to Elizabeth and Phyllis, uh, you were talking about how much progress women definitely have done have since the 20s, but what do you think are the, you know, like the s similarities in struggles or things that we still go through nowadays that are similar to what those women did? Well, obviously, raising children um, since time immemorial will always be similar. There, um, there'll always be the, um, uh, the bratty kid. Um, so that, that is one thing that springs to my mind. Well, I suppose that will never change. No, no, yeah, it's, it's always, left cooking the mince. Um, I think back then, of course, women, and it still continues today, uh, amazingly enough, when um, women can be subject to unwanted attentions, um, you'd think this was a thing of the past, but that certainly was a thing back then. You know, the, 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 the master of the house felt it was his duty even to take advantage of young undermaids or whatever uh, and um, and that's a power thing of course and there's still a bit of that around today but hopefully getting less so now the spotlight's on it eh? getting less so because the spotlight because the spotlight we're having, we're having discussions that, that yes. about the reality of this that in my generation were never really had so no you could that, get away that, for that it. I'm, I'm yeah. grateful I mean I think for, for women of my generation, we're, we're starting to become amazed at the realization of what we accepted in terms of what, what we um, were, were, were expected to accept in a, in a workplace. And, and at least that is now being discussed and scrutinized and looked at in a, in a more honest light. And for that, I think and becoming um, women unacceptable. everywhere are, 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 yeah, are very, very grateful. What about some favourite moments from filming this? Because it, there were some scenes which were very comical, some dramatic, without giving any spoilers. Anyone want to highlight a moment that was special to them? Well, normally filming in the dining room is a, your heart sank during the series because only because you knew it was going to be a long time in a hot room. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but in fact, uh, one of my favourite scenes from the movie is uh, when I read it and indeed when we filmed it was um, uh, a scene in the dining room when, when one of the staff gets a bit overexcited about the... Uh, the presence of the royal family and uh, I think uh, watching Kevin perform I've always loved watching Kevin perform and so we did actually stay in the hot room to, to even watch uh, his close up because uh, it was just a joy and uh, I think it works on the screen too yeah. very funny scene <laughs> anyone else I, I didn't any favourite moments, but it was right, moments yeah. Yeah. yeah oh wow mine was dancing with Hugh Bonneville. <laughs> <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> <laughs> I liked uh, the, the, the last scene, Carson and Mrs. Hughes. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, it, Phyllis was going to say she liked the last scene when Carson and Mrs. Hughes <laughs> shut the doors and w w wander off into the sunset. Oh, um, that's my favourite scene in this. Who knows? the possibilities of a second film. <laughs> <laughs> Starring Phyllis and Jim. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we go back up the drive and we open the door with our own key. Yeah. And it's like revolution has happened. <laughs> what, what was it like meeting the King George V, or for real, almost? 
It was nearly as exciting as meeting Shirley MacLaine for real, <laughs> you know, uh, but slightly less glamorous. Uh, I, didn't they look like the, yes. the King and Queen? In, in, in and dream? Simon was fantastic on his horse, the, that whole sequence. He hadn't ridden for about 15 years or longer. Yeah. And he had to do all this really complex making the horse trot and do yeah. and go around in circles and, and look inspect the troops but he he was so magnificent i thought i was very impressed by him mm -hmm. thank you one final question over there sir. thank you um, so going back to that kevin doyle scene um for someone who doesn't really know the, the rules and the etiquette around monarchy how many rules did he break? <laughs> in, in, that, in that scene. Nice question. Mm. <laughs> Who what do you knows? Think? I don't know. I mean, well, he spoke out of turn. Uh, he actually you know, sp spoke to them. He spoke, you know, in really? the dining room. No, none of us would speak in the dining room, even with the family there, never mind with the king there. <laughs> uh, um, so that was the major one, yes, <laughs> I suppose. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, for, for English people versed in the class system, you know, I mean, it was it, it was as, as shocking as as uh, something horrible happening in Fast and Furious Seven, really. I mean, it, <laughs> it, 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 ginormous it, car it, crash. It, it was it was a car crash, uh, <laughs> but then he saved saved the day brilliantly. I mean, it's for me, it's, it's like you said, it's, it's a highlight in the film, isn't it? Yeah, um, uh, yeah really shocking. Um, when, when Shirley turned up, I mean, Shirley MacLaine, her first day of filming was her arrival, and uh, she, she, she wanted to kiss everybody on both cheeks, and she was told, no, 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 we can't do that. And then, then she said, can, well, I, I'll, can I hug Carson? Because <laughs> um, she said, I like Carson. I like, but Shirley, we're English, and he's a servant. And it's a I mean, I appreciated 20. the sentiment, but uh, <laughs> no, I think there's a little bit more work to be done there. So. <laughs> 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 you must meet so many people who are fans. Are there any that stick in the mind, whether they're high profile or just very excited? I can remember, I can remember when Elizabeth and I were uh, in, in Washington, D.C., uh, at a lunch, and John Kerry, um, who was, uh, what was he, what do you call, what was, what was his he role? Was a, um, the, the, the Vice President? No, no, no. Secretary of State. Secretary of State. Oh. Well, had been Secretary of State, mm -hmm. wasn't he? Anyway, anyway, point is, he'd, he said he'd been recovering from, a, from a, 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 a bad back or something and had a bit of insomnia, so he picked up this DVD that his wife had been watching at 4 a.m. as he was padding around the house, and he said, uh, and I'm here to tell you, sir, I was still there at midday. <laughs> um, yes, he got he got, uh, he wow. got rather hooked. So I thought that was quite interesting. That in between affairs and state, you're watching our stuff. So that was mm -hmm. that was rather sweet. Well, of course, um, with another White House connection there, um, um, when we went to the, we were invited to the um, <clears throat> the American ambassador's residence in London to celebrate Thanksgiving, and a letter from Michelle Obama was there waiting to be read out to us because. She's apparently a big fan, and we did actually go to the White House and and um, met her. Mm -hmm. What did Not she say? Hmm? Has she gone what to did bed, she say? Yeah. She? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she gone to bed when I got there. Had she? No, yeah. she was. Um, no, she. On another occasion, she did um, give us, you know, uh, met us five minutes of her time. Five no. minutes of her time. But anyway, no, she just said that. You know, I, I, um, you're all. I think, like so many people have said, that the characters are, have become like family, which was very mm -hmm. touching. Mm. She was delightful. Several people have named their dogs after me. And, <laughs> and somebody's named their child after me. Wow. Not Charlie, but Carson. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we have our own name, don't we? We're Chelsea, known as Chelsea with some people. Charlie and Elsie. Charlie Elsie. and Elsie. Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea. We are. <laughs> and Dame Kiri Takanawa, who uh, appeared oh. in um, season four, she named her new puppy Abby, which is um, very nice. Down to oh, Abby. Mm. That's lovely. Mm. Well, the big screen experience brings a lot of fans. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Best of luck with the film. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, thank you all for your time today. Thanks. Have a great day.